Hello, this is Tom, a.k.a. Gerio here for Star Frontiers Gamer. And we're doing a quick little teaser update, teaser trailer, on the Star Frontiersman Volume 2. Now, you're probably sitting there, well, some of you probably sitting there going, why'd they do Volume 2? Well, you know, when it came time to shut down the Frontier Explorer and we're having discussions concerning what to name a new magazine, uh... Names were kicked around, and, and we were one of the, our concerns was you, you, when you start a new magazine, you feel like name recognition. And all the best names were taken. I mean, let's face it Star Frontiersman, great name. Frontier Explorer, great name. So the best names were taken. And we settled on let's just do volume two. Magazines do this volume one, volume two. Let's just do volume two, and we'll pick up with issue 26 since Star Frontiersman originally halted at issue 25. And we'll just go from there. And so that's how that decision was made. This is our first cover, and I'm really excited about this cover. This was donated to us by Steve Crompton, who is a professional artist with a lot of credits to his names, worked for... Oh, you know, little little tiny nobody companies like Flying Buffalo and Traveler and and uh, GURPS and uh, you know Steve Jackson Games. He's he's been all over the place. Uh, he uh, developed the Nuclear War card game and Nuclear Escalation. That uh, I believe he won an award for Nuclear War. Uh, he worked on Grim Tooth Traps and then took over editing and directing it. And so he's uh, you know. He's, he's not small potatoes. And uh, that, you know, and I just chatted him up one day. I said, hey, you, you got some scraps lying around that maybe we could use for the magazine. He's like, yeah, sure, I got something for you. Well, not only did he have this for us, and let me just advance this to show you the side-by-side. -side. He says, I'll clean it up a little bit in Photoshop for you. <laughs> He almost redid it in Photoshop. Uh, you know, this is gorgeous. I mean, he's changed some of the color values here and cleaned up things and put in that gorgeous sky uh, starfield background there. Uh, the title of this picture is called A Return to the Emerald City. And originally, let's go back to the cover. Originally, it was used in, in the 1980s as a cover for a play-by-mail uh, magazine. And he didn't seem to remember which one. <laughs> I've done a little looking, and I can't find that magazine. So, um, you know, this was cool that he redid the art for us, and I'm just so excited. Now, and I and I want to say that, um, you know, as 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 an editor for a fan magazine, you do a lot of begging for art. You know, and so I'll you know I'll chat I'll try to chat up people on like Deviant Art. And these would be people who don't have a lot of professional credits to their name. You know, some do, some don't. And uh, But I, I hit this wall sometimes, particularly people who don't seem to have any credits to their name, and they're like, no. <laughs> and they act really insulted that I asked them. I was just like, hey, I admire your art. We'd love to use it, you know. And, you know, it's a yes or no. We're not going to use it, you know, without your permission. But it's always amazing to me that uh, when I chat up a professional artist like Steve, you know, of, of the level where you'd walk into a brick and mortar store and there's a product with their art on the cover, you know, that level of professional artist. And they're like, yeah, sure. I, I got something I can, I can help you out. That, uh, you know, that it's like, it's like night and day, which as I was meditating on that, it made me think about, our regular artists who donate art all the time, Jerry Boucher, uh, Aaron O'Brien, Scott Mulder, Brian P., others. <clears throat> and, uh, you know, you approach these guys and you're hey, we, we need a piece of art for this article. It needs to have this in it. Can you help us out? And they're like, sure. And then, you know, five days later, you got a piece of art you're slapping in layout. And so our regular artists, um, are every bit as professional. They're they're like they're like these these top shelf professionals in the business who have you know whether or not they have the the credits of having their stuff on the cover of a product in a brick and mortar store. To me, 
they're that level of professionalism. And so I just, uh, I just want to take the moment to say we've got great people who support the magazine and, uh, the magazine wouldn't be what it is without them. So, uh, um, Here's the new cover. Here's what it looks like. Just a little teaser. Showed you the before and after on this. So this is Tom for Star Frontiers Gamer, uh, giving you a little heads up on what's going on with the Star Frontiersmen Volume Dos. <laughs> 